The colors of human eyes are warranted by the degree of melanin concentration in the eye and the mode by which the iris disperses light entering the eye. The iris is that part of the human eye, made up of a thin circular structure, that controls the amount of light entering the eye. The most dominant eye color throughout the world is brown, with an estimated 79% of the world's population retaining their hold on it. Of the 79% with brown-colored eyes, persons living within Africa and some parts of Asia have the highest numbers with the rest scattered across the globe. In Africa, however, the high concentration of melanin amongst Africans has accounted for the widespread presence of deep brown-colored eyes. Generally, blue eyes on black skin is a phenomenon that often incites speculations, with many wondering if people with blue eyes lack concentration, see well, or maybe have an affected level of hearing. Although some of these concerns are unfounded, others, such as its effect on hearing, appear to be correct. However, contrary to popular belief, having blue eyes is not limited to Asians or Europeans. Black Africans can also have blue eyes and claims that photos of Africans with blue eyes on social media and other internet platforms are fake are incorrect. There are Africans who by virtue of the genetic packages received from both or either parent, as well as the concentration of melanin in their eye region, have eye colors outside of the statistical norm, making them rare within the context of the African community. But this is neither a mere coincidence nor a mistake as Africa is home to the first known human from whose genetic endowments all other physical human traits in the world have been biologically derived. Genetic evidence suggests that ancient Stone Age humans living in Europe had darker skin and blue eyes. But what about present times? Intriguingly, a team of Copenhagen University researchers reported in their work that all blue-eyed people can trace their ancestry back to a single ancestor who lived between 8,000 and 10,000 years ago in the Black Sea's northwestern regions. The findings were published in the Journal of Human Genetics revealing that a single mutation in a gene called OCA2 arose in a single individual and that everything appeared to have happened by chance. Until this single mutation, all humans had brown eyes. The gene does not create blue in the iris, but instead inhibits the mechanism that generates brown melanin pigment. Team leader Dr. Hans Eiberg asserts that everyone originally had brown eyes and a majority of people still do. The discovery of the rare mutation, most likely dispersed in the rapid wave of colonization that followed the end of the last ice age, sheds light on one of the great mysteries of human evolution, the strangeness of Europeans. Many characteristics distinguish those from Europe and the Near East from the rest of the human race. Not only are Europeans far more likely than any other ethnic grouping to have blue eyes, up to 95% in some Scandinavian countries, but they also have a far wider range of skin tones and hair colors. Another cause of the blue eye phenomenon after gene mutation is when an African or African-American has Caucasian relatives on both sides of their family who are carriers of the blue eye gene. If both parents' ancestral lines carried the gene for blue eyes, a black couple with brown eyes could have kids with naturally blue eyes. Notwithstanding, there is also a tendency for blue eyes to skip not just one generation, but can skip multiple generations. There is no guarantee that a parent will pass on blue eyes to their child if they already have them. Blue-eyed parents can have brown or hazel-eyed children, with the blue eye mutation dormant in the child's genetic makeup. It's difficult to predict when the mutation will reappear. Wartenberg syndrome, a deficiency inherited from a single parent with similar symptoms, can also cause blue eyes. It is essentially a rare disease characterized by sensorineural deafness in conjunction with pigmentary anomalies and defects of neural crest derived tissues. It is classified into four types, with the determinant being a combination of possible characteristics, and occurs once every 42,000 births. Color abnormalities in the eye can be classified into three types, heterochromia, responsible for multiple colors, bilateral isoepichromia, which produces pale blue eyes and fundus or reflective pigmentary alterations. Additionally, partner selection is another important hypothesis argued to contribute to the anomaly. 
The crux of this theory is that people in ancestral Europe were far pickier than they were anywhere else in the world. To put it another way, a European guy back then preferred women with blue eyes to women with brown eyes. This type of selection may have increased the chances of having a child with blue eyes, explaining the disparity in eye color diversity between Europe and the rest of the world. Both hypotheses explain why black people with blue eyes have the smallest proportion. Ultimately, it is important to state however that having blue eyes is not demonic or evil, and as evidence, a multitude of black celebrities including Michael Ely, Rihanna, Tyra Banks, Vanessa Williams, and other notable mentions have natural eye colors other than black or brown. There is evidence of blue-eyed Africans all over Africa, including South Sudan, South Africa, Nigeria, Uganda, and others, and is not as uncommon as people believe. Unfortunately, there is still a lot of misinformation about this, with many people believing that Africans with blue eyes get it from Caucasians. Nonetheless, a burgeoning amount of recent evidence suggests that there might just be more to this than the widespread narrative.